Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. Hi guys, hi Dreamweavers, it's me and Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher. Welcome back to a, another video. So, I have, when you see this video, I have already put a video up in my Sabbath Celebration series for you. But I thought it would be fun to do a, another video, especially as this sort of time of year, the sort of your Christmassy time is traditionally a, a gift giving time of year. I thought that it would be a fun idea just to give you a few ideas of what you can get your witchy friend, loved one, coven mate or even if your loved ones are asking you what kind of things they can get you for the season you could refer to this little list of some witchy things that you may may want for the season or for you so <clears throat> let's discuss some ideas let's get into it so first idea is some crystal jewelry if you are big on crystals if you love crystals maybe a, cr a necklace with a crystal or a ring bracelet whatever takes your fancy a lined notebook or plain paper if you prefer but you could just ask for <coughs> a pretty notebook and you um that you could use for a book of shadows a grimoire dream journal moon journal spell book whatever this is like such uh, just or just a journal in general such a versatile thing that you can use for so many things um a tarot oracle deck you may just be starting to get into tarot or oracle and you may and there's this old tradition where your first tarot deck should be one that's gifted to you i personally bought my first tarot deck but I know some people still believe that your first deck should be gifted to you so this could be a perfect time when your loved one's asking you what you want for uh, your slash Christmas or you're wanting to or you're thinking of what you can get your your witchy loved one a tarot slash oracle deck is a good idea or if like me you just love tarot and oracle decks anyway and that's a gift that you really can't go wrong with and especially now there's just so many tarot and oracle decks you can get them from so many places and so many different themes and things like that you can get such beautiful stunning artwork i think that such makes a really really nice gift that can be used again and again candles any witch knows candles are always a good one it could be homemade candles they could just be store-bought candles really pretty ones different colors anything you could never have too many candles a witchcraft witchy pagan book so it could be an introductory book to Wicca or magic or paganism, something more advanced, or if one of your favourite authors has released a new book or it's a certain uh, witchcraft topic that you are interested in learning more about or you think would be a good gift to someone. I really think I love getting, that's probably one of my favourite gifts to get is witchy books, so I definitely recommend that. 
again along with candles incense sticks is another one that you can never have too many of and you could also get a holder to gift with the incense sticks um crystals themselves so a crystal jewelry but you could actually ask for slash gift crystals themselves uh you could get specific crystals like for um i don't know for their birth month um or uh crystals for love or crystals for protection if you know that they have a certain favorite crystal you could get that or if you could get or you could choose a crystal that you're drawn to or just just crystals in general is such a good idea essential oils along with candles and incense sticks essential oils are a really good idea as especially if you use essential oils a lot you could use them in spells you could burn them in oil diffusers you could dress candles with them um you could do so many things you could use a carrier oil and make them as a scent to dab onto your skin all kinds of things um teacups i love teacups i think teacups are really pretty you could get a really nice um teacup and you could you could put candles in it you could put jewelry in it you could put it on your altar you could use it as an offering dish you could do with so many different versatile uses so definitely think that's a cool one herbal teas if you know the person that you're gifting for or yourself you love drinking chamomile tea or uh like green tea or tea with lavender in it or rose extract or cinnamon or or whatever like a nice box or pack special pack of herbal tea that you could just use for your rituals or use when you want to pick me up or special occasions or just to drink whatever is a good idea altar cloth if you need you may need a new one or you may change up your altar with the seasons or your loved one may do that uh, altar cloths are always a good one you could get them in like silk and cotton all different kinds of materials and patterns and sizes and i think they're a really nice gift that can be used again and again a cloak as well if you're feeling a bit more extravagant or a person that is gifting for you is feeling extravagant i'd love a really pretty like forest green cloak embroidered with like sigils and runes and stuff one day yeah cloak i think is a really cool idea and like salt lamp you know like a Him himalayan salt lamp they got quite popular a few years ago and quite easy to get hold of they're really good for like purifying the air and things like that and i think they look really cool so yeah himalayan salt lamp would be a really cool idea a uh, small glass glass jars glass bottles you know the ones like with the little corkscrew not corkscrew the ones with the little cork in them they're a really cool idea they look really pretty you could put crystal crystal chips in them um like uh crystal herbs um uh salt ashes from things that you've burnt like you could use them for so many different things and they're really versatile and they look really cute and um, packs of herbs as well if you're running low on certain herbs in your collection you could ask for herbs is a good one plant as well nice like i don't know a succulent some sort of flowering plant i don't know whatever that you're into i think that's a nice gift to give and a nice gift to receive as it's something that you can water and take care of and every time you look at it you'll be reminded of the person your loved one that gifted it to you or it'd be something nice that you gift to someone else a witchy mug i love witchy mugs you get really cool you get, get like really pretty ones with funny sayings or different designs and yeah so i would definitely witchy mug is a cool one especially if the person you're gifting for yourself you drink hot drinks like teas coffees hot chocolates whatever i think that's a really cool idea uh 2021 witchy calendar or 2021 witchy planner so yeah if, if you're like me and you love planning or you're the person you're gifting for loves planning then i think a calendar like with the moon phase and things like that on or a witchy planner that has different witchy correspondences and things like that is a really nice gift a witchy or witchy inspired dvd so a dvd especially if the person that you're given for yourself you have a dvd player still and you watch dvds you could you could get the the new witches movie that remake that's come out or the craft remake if you want to watch that or 
or just anything so i think that's a cool idea witchy inspired clothing so you could get them a top or some leggings or whatever that has maybe crescent moons or triple goddess or pentagrams on or stars or or whatever i think that's a really nice gift and finally a witchy fiction book if yourself or the person that you're gifting for loves and um, like YA fantasy or loves reading fiction books in general I think that's a really cool gift I may actually do a video comment below if you want me to do a video on like my top favorite recommended fiction uh witchy themed YA type books I am definitely down for doing that so I hope this little video has helped give you some inspiration either to what to write on your wish list or what you can gift someone else. So until next time, keep dreaming and stay enchanted. Mwah.